Chances are that you or someone you love colors their hair or uses a relaxer. And tonight we have an important health alert for you. New research from the National Institutes of Health found that permanent hair dye and chemical straighteners may increase your breast cancer risk. When I heard that headline, I wanted to learn more. So tonight we're on your side speaking with the co-author of the study, an oncologist and also salon workers. Hi, Kanaya. How you doing? Working with chemicals is just part of the job for Gail Carter Cade. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Owner of Gail Car Beauty Salon in Arlington. When was the last time you had a relaxer again? In her more than 30 years as a so stylist. That's important to know. She's chemically straightened in color the hair of hundreds of women. I love beauty, and I love making women look beautiful and I, because they look good, they feel a little bit better. But new research has Carter Cade feeling a little worried. That's very concerning to her. In a study of women whose sister had breast cancer, researchers from the National Institutes of Health found those who use permanent hair dye or chemical straighteners had an increased risk of breast cancer. White women who use permanent dyes every five to eight weeks had an 8% increase in breast cancer risk. For black women, the study found a 60% increased risk. We'd like to see these findings replicated before um, recommendations could be made. Lead I researcher Dale Sandler says one of the questions the study did not answer is what chemicals were in the products the women were using. We just asked about hair dye in general. We didn't ask whether women were doing this um, by themselves or whether a hairdresser was doing it. So there are many more questions that we have. Dr. Layla Samion, a breast surgical oncologist at Baptist MD Anderson Cancer Center, says because all of the women in the study had a family history of breast cancer, they were already at a higher risk. But she notes chemicals in some hair products are known to cause cancer. What I was surprised in reading the article is how many, how many chemicals and carcinogenic chemicals are in these hair products and the hair straighteners. Uh, that's the part that really got me because there's been lab studies that shown in rats that these chemicals can cause breast cancer in, in lab animals. Okay. Elena Pius says she's not surprised that salon chemicals could have health effects. To your right, right? Mm -hmm. She's been a stylist for more than a decade. But several years ago, she began to notice a physical reaction to the chemicals. Breathing effects, I would instantly get a migraine. Pius, whose mother is a breast cancer survivor, actually changed to lawns and now uses what she considers healthier hair products. Now, granted, I'm definitely still using permanent hair color, but I try to find more no ammonia versions of it, um, wearing my gloves consistently. That kind of protection can help, as can knowing more about what's in certain hair products. Some of the um, hair products that are marketed to African American women have a higher concentration of hormone disrupting chemicals. So like the Brazilian keratin um, hair product that's very good at hair straightening is full of formaldehyde, which is cancer causing. The American Cancer Society says studying hair dyes can be complex because they can contain thousands of different chemicals. And over the years, ingredients have changed. Of course, there are many different things that cause, that cause breast cancer, and there's no one single cause. Um, and so I think that people need to consider our findings when they're making decisions, the personal decisions about their lifestyles. And as we get older, things change. Gail Carter Cade says she too will now always wear gloves and plans to talk to her customers about the potential risk. We're going to have to take all that into consideration when we, as we make our clients look beautiful. Now, the doctor I spoke with said in addition to exposure to toxic chemicals, obesity, alcohol, and smoking, those are all factors that may increase your risk of developing breast cancer. Now, if you want to dye your hair but you're concerned about safety, we're on your side tonight with these tips from the FDA. First off, always follow the directions in the package and pay attention to the caution and the warning statements. Also, wear gloves when you're applying chemicals and don't leave the dye on your hair any longer than the directions say that you should. And I do want to point out that this study did not find an increased risk of breast cancer associated with semi-permanent hair dye.